I've received a number of comments on how do I install an operating system to a Raspberry Pi 5 if I don't have a second computer. In this video, we'll demonstrate exactly how, using the Raspberry Pi 5's Network OS installer, we'll also cover how to install an operating system that isn't available from the main Network OS install menu. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. The ability to install an operating system directly from the Raspberry Pi 5 using the network installer has been around for a while. It was only since around April of 2024 that Pis began shipping with this capability built into the firmware. This means you don't need a PC at all to install an operating system to a Pi 5's microSD, NVMe drive, or even an external USB drive. All you really need is an Ethernet connection to the internet. To start, we'll install an operating system to this 16 gigabyte micro SD. Of course, you'll want a Pi 5 power supply and a micro HDMI cable to connect to your TV or monitor. Pi 5 shipping today include the proper firmware right out of the box. I'll go ahead and pop in this empty micro SD card. As mentioned, you will need an Ethernet cable connected to your Pi. The network installer will not work over Wi Fi. Then just plug in your micro HDMI cable. You're going to want a keyboard and a mouse connected as well. Then just plug in the power. When the Pi 5 boots, you'll see a screen like this one. To enter the network installer, you just press and hold the shift key for a few seconds. And when you do, you'll see the progress change from waiting for network. And then the net install boot image will begin downloading to the Pi 5 and start Raspberry Pi Imager. You may already be familiar with Raspberry Pi Imager. It also runs on Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu x86, and of course on the Pi itself. At the bottom, you can change your language or the keyboard layout that you'll be using. From here, click the Choose Device button. There are a number of Pi models you can select, but we'll pick the Raspberry Pi 5. Then click Choose OS. And at the top of the list is Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit, which is the recommended OS for the Pi developed by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. However, there are several others you can choose from. For example, under Other General Purpose OS, you can select Ubuntu, Alpine Linux, and several others. Under Media OS, you'll find Libre Elect with Kodi if you want to set up a media center. And under Emulation and Game OS, you'll find Recall Box, which makes it easy to get started with retro game emulation on the Pi. Within other specific purpose OS, under 3D Printing, you'll find OctoPi, which is a great package for managing and monitoring your 3D prints. Under Miscellaneous Images, you'll find PIN, which is one of my personal favorites for installing multiple operating systems on your Pi, and includes a boot selection menu where you can choose which OS you want to run. Erase allows you to reformat any of your drives to a FAT32 formatted disk. For the purpose of this video, we'll select Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. When we click the Choose Storage button, we see our 16 gigabyte micro SD card. However, if you have an NVMe drive or even an external SSD, such as this external drive connected over USB, you can install the operating system to that drive as well. I'll go ahead and unplug the drive and we'll just stick to the micro SD card for now. Then click Next. And if you want to make any other changes to the OS prior to booting, you can click Edit Settings. But we'll go ahead and select No. You'll be warned that the contents of the selected drive will be erased. And if you're sure you have the right one selected, click Yes. At this point, the operating system image will begin writing to the media. This step will take some time, so I'll go ahead and skip forward. Once done, the Pi will reboot, and you can begin setting up the image. It's really that easy, and all done without a separate computer. There's one more thing I'd like to demonstrate. After following the setup wizard for Pi OS Desktop, let's assume you want to install an operating system that isn't available from the Pi Imager menu. One good example is Botocera, a popular retro gaming operating system for various platforms. Well, within PiOS Desktop, just 
Just open a browser, and if you see this dialog, you can enter a password. However, I find just pressing enter twice a bit more convenient. If you enter a password, you'll need to enter it every time you open the browser. But let's say we want to install Bodicera. So we open a tab and go to bodicera.org, then click the Get Bodicera Linux 42 button. Then we click the download link for Raspberry Pi 5 Model B. After it downloads, we can install Bodicera to a separate micro SD card, an NVMe drive, USB stick, or an SSD. For this, I'll use the Beagle USB to SD card reader and insert the destination micro SD card. Then navigate to Accessories and launch Raspberry Pi Imager. Select Choose Device and then the Raspberry Pi 5 like we did earlier. The only difference really is now under Choose OS, we'll scroll to the very bottom of the list and select Use Custom. It will default to your Downloads folder which contains the Bodicera image. Just select the image and click the Open button. Then select our micro SD card that's in the reader. Click Next and we'll select No to OS Customization Settings, and Yes to write the image. You'll then be prompted for the password you used when logging into PyOS Desktop. Go ahead and enter that, and once done, click the Continue button and close out of Raspberry Pi Imager. Now from the Applications menu, select Logout and Shutdown. Now we can remove the USB SD reader, remove the SD card that contains Botocera, we can also unplug the Ethernet cable if we plan to use Wi-Fi with Botocera. Remove the micro SD card from the Pi 5 containing PyOS Desktop and replace it with the micro SD containing Botocera. Then press the power button on the Pi to boot into Botocera. And when Botocera first starts up, you'll see this blue screen while it's resizing the partitions. You also want to connect a game controller to complete the setup and configuration. And that's it! We've installed an OS to the Pi 5 directly, and even a custom OS not available from the network installer. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know by clicking the like button. And if you enjoy concise videos like this, subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.